Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, how to export your WordPress database manually. So this is an extension to the video where we talked about importance of backup uh, in security or in WordPress security. So today is all about exporting the database that's related to WordPress environment of ours. So over here, uh, this website doesn't have a lot to it. We installed this WordPress in our previous one video manually. And I'm gonna take a demonstration for this website and I'm gonna export the database for this website, okay? And I'm gonna demonstrate or like create and like custom or like man-made catastrophic failure. And I'm gonna show you how you can get that database back as well, okay? So come along for the ride and I'm gonna show you how to export the WordPress database. So for that, uh, firstly, let's go towards the file manager of ours and I'm gonna check what database name and password we are using for the connection. So you will find that file inside public HTML and we're gonna look at under wp-config.php. So let's open that file. And here on the line 23, you will find like DB name as the DB that being or the database being used for the WordPress. And usually you don't need the username and the password since you are logged in to your hosting panel and they will handle the authentication for you. So just note down the DB name and we're going to open our uh, PHP MyAdmin from the hosting panel. Okay. So all major hosting panels out there will have a PHP MyAdmin or some kind of SQL manager. Uh, inbuilt okay so most possibly it's gonna be PHM admin since it's industry standard so see uh, the database we had over here this one and we're gonna open that database in the PHP my admin from left hand sidebar and the way to export and WordPress database is uh, you can like check all these uh, let's say entries over here or uh, tables you can export them uh, from here what I recommend is going to export and then uh, select quick then click on SQL then click on go okay that will export the entire database alongside with structure and database so that's the backup file we generated from the uh, SQL database and let's say uh, something like catastrophic happens and we lose access to our uh, WordPress website or somehow let's say uh, the database for our WordPress website get corrupted so I'm gonna try to simulate that situation over here and I'll show you how you can get your WordPress uh, website back using a database backup we have stored in our local computer. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna drop all this table over here to simulate and failure. So let's click on drop and don't do that on your production website. It can be lethal. So this is just, just to uh, like simulate the scenario. But like since we deleted the database, now we can reload our WordPress website to see how it looks like, okay? So it should fall back to installation, right? Since it doesn't have like anything on uh, over here in the database. So WordPress thinks it's a blank installation. So it's gonna ask you for this, or let's say if a part of database get corrupted, you will find like a error 500 screen over here. So leaving this aside, let's restore the file or the database file in the database. So you have the SQL file, let's say over here. What you have to do, select your database or from the left hand side on the PHP my admin window, drag your uh, SQL file on here. Okay. It's going to take a few seconds to upload the file. And then just go back to your WordPress uh, installation, remove the WP admin. And voila, you have your WordPress website back. So this is how simple it is like without going into like uh, automatic uh, backup solutions and all. So this is how you can restore your WordPress website if there is a database failure. So sometimes it can be a little bit intimated uh, when you have to like export the databases on a regular basis. But trust me, in this uh, 21st century, every hosting provider allows you to backup your database and files automatically. Uh, if you are not using, let's say, very super cheap hosting plans, okay? So if you are using like a decent enough hosting, they will automatically back off, let's say periodically, maybe three days, um, like in three days alternation, or let's say per weekly, they will back up your files and database automatically. So you can download one of the backups and restore it in the PHP MyAdmin and it should be good to go. But this is the case for database corruption or database uh, data loss. I'm going to talk about how to backup like your WordPress files from the disk manually and how to restore them as well. 
until then i'm shanad saying goodbye i hope you found this video helpful if you did leave a like leave a comment maybe suggest some video ideas so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one